Well, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg is speaking out tonight to address the company's privacy scandal, admitting the company breached the trust of users. A personal data from 50 million users may have been used improperly in the 2016 presidential campaign. Facebook is named in a proposed class action lawsuit accusing it of negligence, and they've also lost nearly $50 billion in stock value in just the last two days. Zuckerberg promises changes. And the hashtag delete Facebook is making its way around social media sites. It comes after users found out their personal data, data was being shared with third-party apps. But as Jade Cunningham explains, there is an easy fix for it. Most people have it. Do you guys use Facebook? Yes. Absolutely. It's easy to keep in touch with friends. But ask them what they think of Facebook. I feel like uh, we're all stuck to it and, and it's not the reality. And opinions are mixed. I stopped using it after all of the numerous security concerns with personal information. Recently, there's been a call to stop using it after users found out their information was being shared with other apps. Obviously, I don't like the idea that my information's being given to third parties without me knowing about it. Um, it does feel a little bit invasive. You sign up for it, so you, you get what you sign up for, and there are definitely risks in... If you want to find out what kind of potato you are, you know, you're giving up the permission for them to get your information. Here's how it works. When you sign into any app using Facebook, you allow those applications to exchange your information, like name, age, and Facebook friends. All of the login information was only in one spot, but that, that also means that it's a lot less secure. So how can you stop this? Well, it might look different for iPhone and Samsung users, but it's essentially done the same way, and it's extremely easy. First, log into Facebook and click on the three lines. Find Settings, Account Settings, then scroll down to Apps. Select Logged In with Facebook and shown will be all the programs you've allowed info to be shared with. Click the ones you'd like to delete and choose Remove App. And as people go through that process, some are also looking to CEO Mark Zuckerberg to make changes. If they decide to continue doing the practices that they're doing, then yeah, it might be enough for me to... Um, to cancel it. If he, he wants to continue to connect the world on a global level, like I think he needs to do his part to make sure that we feel protect, protected, not violated. Because if not, they say they'll make changes of their own. Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. All right, if you do remove apps through Facebook, you will then have to sign into them with a username and password. Also, if you are wanting to permanently delete your Facebook account, a link is on our website, wwltv.com.